Yo yo, what is up? It's Clarity and today I'm going to be showing you guys another way of making money in Altus Life. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a meth run. If you like the video please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as it helps me out. And uh, before we get into this I will just say I love you all. <laughs> now that that's out the way, the things you're going to need are you need a driver's license which costs 5k, get that from DVLA. Truck license, 20k, get that from DVLA. A truck which costs 45k plus, get that from the truck shop. I recommend getting the biggest truck you can afford. Personally I do this in a helmet box as it's pretty quiet for a drug run. And it's also a pretty long journey so the bigger truck you get the bigger profit you make. You're also going to need some spare cash. This depends on the size of the truck which will determine how much money you need. Obviously the bigger the truck the more cash you're going to need to buy the barrels. You're also going to need a meth license which costs 150k. Get that from meth processor and also a carry-all backpack which costs 5000 get that from the clothing store. If you play on my server, another thing you're going to need to make sure you get is the Walter White perk. Um, basically this increases the money you get from selling meth. If you're on my server, you'll know what this is. So once you've got all of that, you're going to want to head over to the Wilco Chem, but before you do that, make a little stop at your nearest cash point, which is just here on the server I play on, and get your money out. One barrel costs 2000 and the weight is 15 per barrel so you can work out how many how much money you need to purchase how many barrels depending on the size of your truck also make sure that when you're doing any drug run including meth that there's more than five police online you can find this out by asking around and stuff like that once you're here go to the cash point get however much money you need out depending on the size of the truck you're doing it in and then head over to wilco chem i wasn't sure how much money i needed so i was just lazy and decided to withdraw that amount um, get back in your, in your car, open up the map with the letter M, mark up Wilco Chem and head over there. Once you're here, run over to this little computer, use your scroll wheel and uh, buy all your barrels. Go back to your truck, press T, transfer all the barrels in there and do that until your truck's full. Make sure that you leave your backpack free at the end of it. So normally in these runs you'd fill your truck up and then you'd fill your backpack up as well. Make sure you don't do that. Once you've done all that and your truck's full but your backpack is still empty and it's got space in it ready for your, your meth barrels, open up the map of the letter M and head over to the meth lab which is just down the road. Okay now that we're here we're going to need to get naked. As weird as that sounds, you can't actually do meth with your clothes on. So go over to your truck and this time press I, which will open up this menu. Transfer all the stuff into your backpack or whatever and drag your clothes into the car. As you can see, I'm now naked and I can process my meth. If you've got a gun, it's a good idea to get it out at this stage so you can at least protect yourself if someone comes to rob you. Once you've processed all of your meth into meth boxes, just get back in your truck and you're now you're going to head over to the meth dealer. If you've made it past this stage, it's pretty plain sailing and you're more than likely going to complete this run with no problems. So just head up there, mark it up and I'll see you when I'm there. Okay, now I'm going to be approaching the UNMC border. So if you've got your gun on your back still, I recommend you put it in your bag just to show them that you're not hostile or anything like that. You just want to come through, do your business, and uh, you'll be out of there. You know, make sure you roleplay with these guys. They're a whitelisted faction. They should help you out because it's their job to help the rebels against the police and all that stuff. So, um, you know, roleplay with them a bit, let them through. You can either try lie about what you've got in your truck or not, but that's not recommended because they could uh, ask for the keys to search it. So if I was you, I'd just tell them the truth, you know, role play with them and they should let you through no problem. They may tax you, they may not, depends on uh, how they're feeling. But uh, yeah, make sure you role play with them guys if they're here. Because at the end of the day, you want to enter their land to profit yourself. So I normally wait here for a couple of minutes, uh, honk me horn, you know, do all that, try to get their attention. If no one's still here after about two minutes, I usually just let myself in. Be wary when you're doing this though, people, because once you enter that gate, you're in their lands then and you're trespassing. 
and you've effectively skipped the border. So if you get caught on the other side without waiting for them, then you are, uh, you know, you're in a bit of trouble, and you might need to try role play your way out of it, or just explain the situation to them. And the uh, they might let you go, they might even execute you. You never know. But that's the beauty about a role play server. You just never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> So after waiting there for a couple of minutes at the petrol station, still nobody came so I decided to let myself in through the second gate and uh, head over to the meth dealer. When you're here simply just park outside, run inside, scroll wheel on the computer or the NPC and sell all the meth boxes you've got in your inventory. Head back to your truck and just keep doing that until you've sold it all. Once you've sold it all, I recommend you head a little bit further up into the UNMC land, into the nearest city. If you follow the main road, it should be there. Bank all your money and sync your data, then head back through the border. And um, hopefully no one's there again or you've got some explaining to do. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to end it there, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate all the support from everyone. Someone did request this in a YouTube comment, so if you've got any requests, just let me know and I'll be sure to get it made for you. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.